Okay, so this is just a brief, kind of brief video on how to do a few things of SSL certificates. Um, we use them in school for things like IT support, and IT support runs Spiceworks, and uh, you can access Spiceworks over um, SSL, so you can have a nice green encrypted thing and encrypt all your user details, um, so you can have it accessible off-site. And the other thing that we use it for is Ericom access now by using the secure gateway add-on that allows you to access it off-site or anywhere and get a nice sort of green um, padlock. Now, first time I did this, it took me a while to figure out what on earth you have to do um, once you've bought your SSL certificate. Um, so you pay for it, and I'll take you through the steps by which you can generate um, a PFX file, and it's a PFX file that you need for these services. Um, so this is one with a private key built in, and those things need it. So I'll just jump over to Windows for a minute. So the first thing you have to do is generate a certificate request, which you're going to paste in to the website of whoever you've bought your SSL certificate from. So for example, we bought them from GoDaddy, but wherever it's the same. So what you need to do is go to run on your server and type MMC. And you'll get this window up here, which I'm sure many people are familiar with. And uh, what we're going to do is go to add remove snapping and what we want to do is add certificates and we want to do this as computer account not my user account because we're going to pr produce a key for this computer and we want local computer and that should do the trick now when you read about SSL certificates, you might sort of read about doing this from um, IIS, if you're using that. Um, the issue there is that you won't actually get the private key built in, which is where it can all go horribly wrong when you try and sort of set things up like Ericom Access. Now, um, I've got a secure gateway. So if you click on Personal, click on Personal, then you go to all tasks, then you go to advanced options and create custom requests. Now this bit took me a while to figure out, but this is how you do it. So you create, create a custom request, you click on next, and um, you want this option called Active Directory Enrollment Policy. And you click on next there. Um, we want PKCS number 10. That's what we want. And where we want template, we want web server. So that one. Now, some of the other templates might be useful if you're doing other things, but for things like Spiceworks and Secure Gateway, essentially a web server. So we're going to click Next. OK. And um, just check this. A bit of properties there. So here we need to do a couple of things. <clears throat> we need to select here. Um, we want common name. Now I can never remember this. I have to look it up. And then you want to type in the value. So this will be your organization name probably. And click on add. Then you want... Um, organization to that one so I'm just doing it as I would do for school Park school click on add and then we want locality and I think for us that's Halton and then you want state Um, uh, now for us that's XX because our primary domain is hosted on SiteGround and when I set this up 
value to state got set at xx it has to be the same as that and then country uh, we want and um, the country if you're in the Great Britain is GB okay it's not UK it's GB um, and we want that and then in the general tab we need to give it a name so um, I'm just going to, I'm not going to go through with this and create the request, but I'm just going to put in something. So whatever your domain, something that you can recognize, a friendly name. Okay, I just normally use the domain name in there. And then we go to private key, and then we need to go to key options. And then we need to make the private key exportable. Okay, it won't work unless you take that little button there. Um, and then we just click on OK to that. And if you go to Next, you'll be um, given an option. We go to Next for a file name. And all you have to do here is just choose where you're going to save this server request. And it will just uh, save essentially a bit of text, a long string of characters. And that's what you paste into your web hosting. Now, at the very top, it will have some dashes and then server certificate request dash, 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 then it'll have that at the bottom. When you paste it in, paste the whole thing in, including the first and the last line. Otherwise, your web hosting company will spit it back out at you and not like it. So, um, that's how you generate a server request that will work for those applications. So when you um, have your request approved on your web hosting, and if you're re renewing a certificate, so when you pay to renew it, what you'll have to do is get, if you're doing it like this, you'll need to get the, you'll need to rekey the certificate. So you'll have to regenerate that server request paste it in and you'll get a new um, certificate that you can download. So download the one that's for IIS. It'll give you lots of options of different ones. Just download it if you're doing it on Windows to IIS. And what you will get is if I find mine, uh, okay, these are the ones I've used for Spiceworks 2016. And it's in there. Okay, so these two files here and here are what you get downloaded. Okay, when you expand, so you get two files. Um, so you get this PKCS number seven certificate and this security certificate here. So um, if you want to turn them into a, um, a PFX file, which you will need to do for something like Spiceworks. Um, then this is how you do it, and this is how you add them. So we go back to your MNC, and then from GoDaddy, they've got a set of instructions to do this. Um, we want to, first of all, put something in intermediate certificates, that one. Then you go to all tasks, import, next. File name, and this is where you browse to the um, files that you want to import. Uh, now I want to be on my desktop. So let's just find that folder. And we need to change this here to look for that sort of file, piece KC. And it's that one you want to import first. Okay. You click on open. Okay. And then click on next. And you want to place all certificates in the following store. Intermediate certificate store is where you want to be placing this rather than what the default is. I've done this once already, so that now is the default. But you can go to browse and then you can choose intermediate certificate authorities. Okay. Click on next and ba boom it will um, import the um, import it for you. Um, 
that will do that one. The other one, you notice you've got two files you can put in here. So you go to all tasks, import, next, file name, uh, that one, open, next. And this one, place all certificates in the following store. This one goes in personal, click on next, and then that's your certificate installed. Now, if you're doing something like Ericom Access Now for Secure Gateway, that's it. Once you start up the application, you can select that as a certificate, and it should work okay because you've got a private key in there. Um, so this is one that I added earlier, and if you want to export this, as a PFX file, which you need to do for something like Spiceworks. Go to All Tasks, and then you go to Export, Next. Now, this is where you know whether you've done it right or wrong. You've got an option here to export private key. So you want to do Yes, Next. And this is what you want. You want a personal information exchange. Okay, you're going to get a PFX file. Include all information in the certificate path if possible. Click on Next. Select Password. And you need to password protect this file, so make sure you know what the password is. Click on Next, and you'll be able to download that file. And that's it. You've got your PFX file. Um, if you want to then add it to Spiceworks, then there's a couple of bits of command line stuff you need to do in Spiceworks to convert that into um, a file format that Spiceworks can um, understand. And I'll put a link to the relevant Spiceworks article. It's very easy. It's literally four bits of code that you can copy and paste, and it will put the um, file in the right place. You just have to make sure that Spiceworks is working on port 443, um, which is SSL, um, HTTPS, and then it'll be OK. But that's kind of how you do it. And um, if you try and look that up in terms of documentation, uh, how to do it, it's not easy to do if you've not done it before. So hopefully that will save somebody a little bit of uh, grief or at least a few minutes of time. Because once you know how to do it, it 